Hello everyone, it's Varun here. In this video, we are going to talk about X Pro login options and how to customize a login page and uh, how to create a custom login page uh, for your website. So the first option, what we are going to check uh, how to polish the default WP login page. By default, if uh, there's nothing enabled, then you can commonly see like uh, the login page is displaying with WordPress logo and uh, then you can let me disable these features first then I can show you what is default and then what exactly we are going to customize there by default if we are going to check a uh, slash WP login dot PHP this is the default WordPress login interface and when you are going to check there there is a couple of plugins for to polish this layout and this functionality is part of the theme itself I'm just uh, copying this URL. Next, I'm going to enabling the WP Customize WP Login section logo enable. So you can upload your logo option there and you can set a width based on your logo height and you can also include what on which URL uh, that will point. You can include logo title and the logo page title, login page title. So once these options will be published, it start displaying like this one. Uh, body X and uh, let me disable one more option there themes I had right now themes is enabled So when the theme functionality is not enabled it will display like this one Okay, so you have a plain white background with the body X logo and the login interface and We can polish it little bit more using inbuilt theme options so you can go to the enable the theme option enable and by default we have given four theme location where first location we have given a background then displaying the wizard area into the center part second we have included transparency parameter there next is the split ui for the content part where you can include some title and the description for the left area uh, left area and the, in the right side we are going to display the login box so if you are going to include some content there I'm just uh, going to add some placeholder there to indicate how exactly it look like okay so if we are publishing this lay layout it is going to look like this one okay so we have a left panel right panel and the left side panel you can increase the transparency you can decrease the transparency you can set a background image for this section and then in the right section you have the login visit area and uh, if you are going to enable this ui these background images you can also change it from here so you have a flexibility to choose this background image and upload a different one or you can uh, choose any one from the available choices so i'm going to check the login page again so I have changed the background image so the back it is displaying on a new background so this is how we have given option to choose uh, background image and which theme layout you are planning to utilize like this one and uh, we have also given flexibility to include it as a video background so that can also be included there So if you go to the background section enable the background video so you just have to make sure you have uploaded an mp4 file with a smaller size not a big one so it can be used as a video background the next one is uh, specific to uh, you can set a transparency of these forms you can also set a, some height or radius or shadow you can also be included by default we have set as a default value and if you want to change uh, the form login form or the login form height you can adjust from here same thing can be done for the forget form and uh, same thing you can also customize the button look uh, how the button is look by default it is going to follow the theme color combination but if you want a different uh, button color or hover color for the login forms then you can also do that from here after the login form uh, styling the default login form we have also given a flexibility to create your own custom login forms so I'm going to create a new page I'm going to set as a login 
page from the website. So first thing I'm going to create a new login page. Publish. Once the page is published, um, we are going to create the Elementor page for this one. And uh, with Web Commission Shell plugin, we have also created a couple of layout for the login form and which can be utilized for this custom login form. Right now, uh, this option is coming from the Web Commission Shell plugin and uh, this will load the pre-designed template from our website and uh, all the template what we have created at our end these are freely available here and inside this one we have a category section for the login one so all the login template what we have created at our end it is available here and we have also included a tag like for which uh, pro version uh, elementor pro version or the rain for which it can be utilized so like this one these two or three are for the rain one these three can be included anywhere this need elementor pro and uh, suppose that i'm planning to utilize uh, this one insert okay so the login form is uh, in injected the section is included and if you want to utilize the elementor full width canvas on this one okay so this look much better now I'm going to check what are the login options we have. So we have login button for additional option like you can also include uh, on which URL they will be redirected after login like I'm going to include members slash me update. So once someone is log out and want to view this page it look like this one. Okay, this is the the brand new login page what we have created and when someone log in they will be read, redirected to that one the next uh, hurdle comes like this login button is sending to the wp login.php and we have created a new brand page i want to use this brand new page to be linked with the header so when someone is going to click they will be sent to the new login page what you have created uh, to achieve this option, you have to navigate back to the customizer again. And inside the general setting, we had a option for page mapping. For this purpose, we have to make sure we are have mapped our page to the general from the general setting as a page mapping, and we have selected login page there. So whatever page we are going to select for the login page, the same page it is going to be linked to the header. And when someone is clicking on the login button, they will be sent to that location. So on site again, I'm going to click on the login page, login link. So now you can see that login button is sending them back to the new page, uh, what we have created. This toolbar can be hidden uh, via some custom plugin or the body press or body boss option to make sure it is should not display for the logout user. So you have one login button which is sending all user to this newly created login page instead of sending them to default wp login.php the next one is the register page when the body press is enabled you have you are getting a basic option for the registration page in the next video we are going to cover how to style these registration forms stay tuned thank you